Yo, what's happening guys? Coming at you from Down For Sound. Once again, we're gonna be doing some rapid fire question answering in this video. That's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna answer a ton of questions in this video. But first, my name is Jonathan Price, owner and operator of downforsoundshop.com and this YouTube channel, which is two of the fastest growing things in car audio. If you will, hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so you know every time we drop a video and you'll get it sent to your inbox and you'll be able to check it out first. All right, let's get into this. So yeah, I make these videos and come in and answer people's questions where they ask them on YouTube in the comments and I you know, tell the person's name and I tell their question and then I answer it for them to the best of my abilities. I don't know everything, I'm still learning myself, but what I do know, I try to share with you guys. So the first person is Alexis Santos. Says, uh, hey JP, I have a Sundown Salt 4 and a Nightshade V515. The sub's rated at 1 ohm and I want to keep it at 1 ohm. How do I wire the sub, uh, the amp to a 1 ohm load? So we answered this in the last video uh, on how to wire your subwoofers. Uh, we have videos on YouTube, we'll reference that in this video, but we have videos on here that already shows you exactly how to wire that. To wire it to one ohm, you're gonna need a dual two sub. So if you have a dual two sub, you'll be able to get a one ohm load. But if you have a dual one sub, you're gonna get a half ohm load or a two ohm load. So uh, just know that, but you'll see that in that video of where I teach people how to wire the subwoofers uh, in that video. So be sure to check that out. Uh, the next one uh, is from Bash NS. Uh, his question is: Has anybody had a problem where your subs make a small popping sound on certain songs? Um, I haven't seen this. Uh, if I had to guess, it'd be some sort of signal issue. If it's like making a popping noise, it's making me think it's a signal issue. Like maybe a bad RCA or bad uh, signal, wherever whatever you're using to get your uh, music. Uh, to your deck and then to your uh, subwoofers maybe it's something there but i'm not sure i haven't dealt with that but hey if you are seeing his question or you're seeing where i'm answering that and you know you've experienced it uh drop a comment and let us know what you have found out on uh, a sub making a popping noise like he's talking about uh next person is sosa valdivinos uh, it says i have a question will when you break in a sub will it play lower and louder also, when it's broken in, is it going to sag, the spiders? So we kind of went over uh, spider sag in a video and what causes it. Uh, yes, usually when you break in a subwoofer, the uh, spider packs become a little bit looser. Not so much usually where they're gonna be sagging, but it just moves more freely because it's getting broken in. It's almost like you warming up for a run. If you stretch and everything before you run, you're gonna be able to perform like at your best. But if you're really tight and, and like stowed up, you're not gonna be able to run at your best um, or perform your best. You need to get warmed up and loosened up to do it. So uh, is it gonna play louder and lower? Possibly, some people, um, calculate their systems and boxes to where their uh, subwoofers are going to perform the best after they do break in. Uh, sometimes uh, they do play lower because again you're just able to move more freely so it's going to get more stroke or X max. Um, and is it going to sag over time? Again it takes a long time for uh, spiders to wear out and you to be experiencing spider sag. So uh, it is possible but we're probably talking years and years of playing them daily at like really hard volumes. Uh, the next question is <laughs> Equinox 100 and Pittsburgh 412. They're asking, well, he says, over this entire past year, when is the true ETA for the Downford Sound D4S65 speakers and recons for them? Um, I know people have been asking for these and we had where we were going to be getting another run of the uh, D4S, the, the normal uh, model that we came out with, the V1s. And we kind of went into a transition to where they were like, do you want to just you want to move into a V2? And I'm like, well, yeah, but I didn't know it was going to take so long to come out with a V2. So that's the problem that we ran into, and that's why it's been such a long delay. We do still have a few D4S 60s in the V1s left, uh, which are discounted, and you can get a good deal on those. I think we may have like 50 pairs of them or so left. But the new uh, Downford Sound D4S 60s, uh, and 65s V2s and we're also doing 8 inch speakers now as well. They are 
really close to being here to the port but they can get caught up in uh, customs and everything like that I know y'all are gonna love them a ton of people love the first um, versions of these speakers that we came out with because we teamed up with Defbonce and Defbonce has been killing the mid-range game over in Russia for a very long time so our very first set of six and a half inch mids that we came out with were awesome because we teamed up with them so we basically got 10 to 12 years of R&D into our very first speaker line so it was uh, very awesome and that's why everybody's asking for them and waiting on them. So the V2s are going to be even better. Uh, so again, if you have any questions pertaining to car audio, drop them in the comments below and I'll try to do my best to answer them. If your question gets a lot of thumbs ups, it'll definitely make it where it catches our attention and it will highly increase the chances of me seeing it and answering it for you. So um, drop them below and we'll get after it. Appreciate your support at downforsoundshop.com. Don't forget it's the home of the Down for Sound difference. Guaranteed lowest prices, fastest shipping, and best customer service. And we have four different types, the same as cash financing on the website under the financing tab. So you can be sure to check it out on the website or in the description of this video. We'll see you in the next one. Later. What's happening guys? If y'all enjoyed all the hot content that you saw in that video, be sure to follow me on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram under the Life of Price and also Down for Sound Shop on Facebook and Instagram and don't forget Snapchat. I'm JPD4S on there so be sure to check me out there. We'll see you in the next one. Later.